Welcome back to my channel guys. So today's video is on seven everyday easy go-to ladylike fragrances for women. So if that's something you're interested in then stay tuned. Also if you enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any future content and let's get right into today's video. Okay so the first fragrance that's easy to grab and go for every day is Mongrelan Eau de Toilette and I do have the Eau de Parfum and the Intense version and the reason that I mentioned the Eau de Toilette is because this one is actually a lot lighter obviously and it's more appropriate for everyday wear in my opinion and for being an eau de toilette it actually has pretty good performance it lasts for at least five or six hours on my skin and at the same time it's very inoffensive and it's not going to be in anyone's face or offending anybody um, it's just a really beautiful fragrance so in case you guys haven't smelt the longer line fragrances these are a lavender vanilla fragrance and it's just a beautiful kind of an aromatic feminine womanly fragrance. Mongrelan is one of the best perfume lines in my opinion that's come out in a really really long time. This one to me is appropriate for spring and summer um, even if it was a warmer day I think you could get away with it whereas the intense one I would definitely save for a date or an evening at least and the original eau de parfum I wouldn't say is super sexy but I would say that it's definitely a little bit deeper and more sensual than this one. This is a fantastic fragrance. I 100% recommend it and also the eau de toilette is on sale right now because I believe it is going to be discontinued. So if you want to get your hands on this definitely act now. So the second one is in this absolutely gorgeous bottle. This is Narciso by Narciso. So this one is a cedar and musky fragrance. It's primarily just very woody and very musky. It is absolutely gorgeous you guys. I love this fragrance so so much. The bottle is stunning as well. This one would definitely be a little bit more appropriate for the fall and the winter. Although I know a lot of people who like this for the spring as well and do wear it throughout the year. Uh, but for me I just prefer to save my woodier fragrances especially like my cedar and my oaks and stuff like that. I like to save those ones for the fall and the winter. I find them to be very cozy, very inviting, um, a little bit sensual, really nice for the evening, really nice for a cold winter day, and yeah, I just love it. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I'm dying to wear it, but of course it's 25 degrees out, and so this is just not appropriate <laughs> to wear right now. Beautiful fragrance. If you guys haven't tried this, I highly, highly recommend it. I do have quite a few other ones from the House of Narciso, by the way. This is one of my top favorites. So this is Narciso by Narciso Eau de Parfum. Next one is Sea Fury by Armani. So this is a really pretty blackberry, I think it's blackberry, it could be black currant and vanilla fragrance. This one has a little bit of the DNA from the original Armani Sea, but this one is quite a lot sweeter. It's a lot more on the vanilla side, which I prefer. Um, I, I definitely prefer this one to the original Armani Sea. And this one to me is just a very classy, everyday, ladylike, but still very pretty and very sweet fragrance. I think that a lot of different age groups can get away with this one. It's kind of fun, it's a little bit flirtatious, but at the same time, it's also very inoffensive. This would be appropriate for the office, it would be appropriate for um, going out to dinner afterwards. This just ticks off so many boxes and it's just such a lovely fragrance. So that is Armani C. Fiori. Okay, so this next one is a little bit more cliche, it's a little bit more popular, but I absolutely love this fragrance and I do think this is the perfect everyday go-to fragrance for ladies. I absolutely love it. This is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. So if you haven't smelled this, and I'm sure that you have, this is a very refreshing citrus soapy, clean, woody kind of a fragrance. It does have a little touch of sweetness to it. This is appropriate for a really warm day. It's appropriate for spring, appropriate for the office. This is the type of fragrance you could just throw on every single day. Like you would smell put together, you would smell professional, you would smell feminine, you would smell classy. This fragrance to me, you guys, is very, very classy. It's one of my absolute favorite fragrances and it's also from one of my favorite perfume houses or fragrance houses, which is Chanel. I love all things Chanel. I love Chanel handbags. I love Chanel dresses. I love Chanel fragrance. So yes, very classy, um, perfect everyday go-to fragrance for women in an equally gorgeous bottle. This is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. So I have another one here by Chanel as well, and this is for the woman who wants to be a little bit more traditional, a little bit more classic Chanel, not so modern, maybe not wearing something that is quite so popular, so not every person walking down the street is going to smell 
uh, the same way. This is Chanel number no. 5 Eau Premier. Now this is a more modern wearable version of the original Chanel number no. 5. This still has that original Chanel number no. 5 DNA. If you didn't know better to a very untrained nose you might not be able to tell the difference but this is quite a lot less sharp. Um, the aldehydes are toned down quite a bit and they've also added quite a bit of vanilla in here. This fragrance to me is soft, it's wearable, it's feminine, it's pretty, it's classy, very, very classy. And it smells like traditional Chanel. And in my opinion, you can't go wrong. I think it's such a beautiful fragrance. I think women from many different age groups could get away with this. I don't know if I would have appreciated this in my early 20s. I think it might be a little bit too mature uh, for somebody maybe in their early 20s. But definitely into your late 20s, your 30s and up, I think could definitely wear this fragrance. So this fragrance came out, I believe, in 2015, and Nicole Kidman was the face of this fragrance. And the idea was to make Chanel Number no. 5 more mainstream and more popular again. And in my opinion, they've done a very good job. This is actually my current bedtime scent. This is one I like to spritz on before I go to bed. But this would absolutely be the perfect every single day when you don't know what to wear. You would just smell very put together, very classy. So this is Chanel Number no. 5 Eau Premier. Okay, this next one I've also spoken quite a bit about. This is Chloe Absolute Parfum. This is a absolutely gorgeous fragrance. This is a little bit less floral and a little bit more on the vanilla earthy side than some of the other Chloe fragrances. So there's only three notes in this fragrance which are vanilla, patchouli, and rose. So initially when you first spray it, it does smell like kind of like every other Chloe fragrance, but as it starts to dry down, it takes on this very clean sort of soft vanilla soap vibe and I really really like this you guys literally every time I smell it and you know how the fragrance stays on the bow a little bit every time I smell this I just think about clean vanilla rosy soap that's what it smells like and you guys there's nothing wrong with smelling clean I think smelling clean is obviously always in style and yeah it's just very feminine and at the same time it's a little bit floral people will be able to notice this on you you will get compliments and at the very least people will think that you smell like a clean classy woman um, so yeah this is a absolutely gorgeous gorgeous bottle look at it you guys it's so pretty it looks so nice sitting on a vanity and yes, I love it. This is a very, very easy go-to every single day fragrance if you just don't know what to wear and you want to smell classy, put together, feminine, and modern at the same time. So that is Chloe Absolute de Parfum. Okay, and my last everyday easy to go to ladylike fragrance is J'adore from Dior. You guys, Dior is probably one of my favorite fragrance houses. I love them. I have quite a few of their fragrances and I just feel like they can't go wrong making a fragrance. So this fragrance, you guys, is just a really light, pleasant, very, very ladylike, inoffensive floral scent. This is so classy. Um, the bottle itself even looks classy. This one has been out for quite a long time. I actually started wearing this one in my early 20s. So this one has jasmine, it has lily of the valley, it has cantaloupe, it has a little bit of vanilla and some cedar and some musk, and it has quite a few other floral notes in here as well. This would be probably, I would say, the most floral fragrance out of the ones I'm talking about today. I know this is on a lot of people's top 10 lists and I honestly think you can't go wrong. It's just such a beautiful, clean, pleasing jasmine and lily of the valley fragrance. So this is J'adore from Dior. So that's it for my everyday, classy, ladylike, easy to go to fragrances for women. Let me know if you guys agree with my choices, if you have any other ones that you would choose. Um, and of these ones, I would be interested to know which one is your favorite. I have to say that my favorite is probably the Chanel Number no. 5 Eau Premier. I think this one is just so pretty and so classy. And then followed by that would probably be the Chloe Absolute de Parfum and the J'adore. Those ones I think are just top-notch, gorgeous, everyday, easy to go to, and super, super classy. So I'm interested in hearing your guys' feedback in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys all next time. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, because I do share a lot of things on there that I don't share on YouTube, such as outfits of the day and fragrances of the day, etc. And I will see you guys all next time. Thank you.